So TW is expensive. You do get nice stuff. The customer service is very good. But some of their stuff does absolutely blatantly take the piss. <laughs> Did you yeah. d- write down any examples of stuff that absolutely blatantly takes the piss? Uh, not that many, because um, I'm just used to it now. <laughs> Um, mm. the, that's, there was the, that's one thing we discussed this in the previous video, didn't we? That when yeah, they you just get apathetic prices, towards it, you're just like, eh, well, it, again. it almost becomes abstract. Mm. Like, is 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 that a good price or not? Like, I guess it's like when they bought out the new old world box sets. And it's like 180 quid. But I'm like, that is a full 1,200 point army and a rule book. That's not that bad you know what i mean it's, it's, it's yeah because you're talking the about the, the bigger the box you're talking the about better the value unless you're exactly. talking about super heavy and also, in which case no <laughs> also though better for gw because as i said the more sprues you put in because the sprues are the, the the cheapest thing so if you sell one sprue for 20 quid then obviously your sprues cost you like 2p and you're getting 18 pound no, so 19 pound 98 yeah minus all the other stuff packaging and all that kind of crap if you put 20 sprues in something and then sell it for 180 quid then it's cost you 40p and you're making 170 do you know what i mean so yeah. you're making that much more profit back on the more sprues you get which is why these big deals tend to be um you know the big boxes tend to be such uh good bundle deals so sorry yeah. you were saying yeah your, your your example you had so yeah i mean there was the the aforementioned psycho race which is like 35 quid for a single sprue for a crap unit that looks yeah. okay. <laughs> yeah, not brilliant. It's it's crap no. in the game. It, it reminds me very much of what they did with Indominus with the Necron Reanimator. Yeah, the lanky one. Yeah, they they priced that out of the market as well for some reason. Yeah. I was like, it, it, I was like, and it that, was complete crap. It was complete crap. It was a crap unit, and to me, it just looked shit as well. I was like, I, I, why have you got lanky Necron stuff? They use anti grav. Just use that. You don't need legs. Like, not that long. It's somewhere high up. Yeah. Just they, were going for, they were going for some kind of like body horror thing, weren't they? Yeah, it some still eldritch horror. Yeah, it still like looks better than the old tripod TV show. Yes, yeah, exactly that, yeah. Um, it still looks better than the lanky um, ad mech character. So, uh, yeah, Please. no, that's a good one. I would, I would go Please as far know. as to say that pretty much anything from Leviathan that got released separately is was too expensive. overpriced. I mean... I would say the Tyranid stuff, some of it's justified because it looks awesome and it's about damn time that they got yeah. newer stuff that looks great. As a as a long term Tyranid player who basically started their collection with Advanced Space Crusade like in what nineteen ninety one, I'm kinda like, Yeah, I'm I'm really pleased that you guys well, tip, technically us guys, not that I play tenth, mm. it's like we're getting decent models, it's, they look amazing and it's just awesome. But like I said in the other video, like it's the worst time for people like me to be into the hobby because the, the models look amazing but the rules are shit you just don't want to play the game yeah no no yeah I, I kind of feel like so much flavor got stripped out of the armies when they did that yeah absolutely um, it's... don't talk about it no even we're, though, we're not, even we're, though we're, not, we're not we're not going on a, we're not going on a 10th frank today um no okay no. cool so uh, uh yeah, anything, anything else yeah uh another one that sprung to mind which is a little bit left field um is if you can find them the Legion Skyhunter Squadron, which is... Uh, uh, 40 quid, for 45 quid for three bikes? It's 40 quid for three dick bikes. Okay. And yeah, I'm, the, the Legion Compensators. Yeah, and I'm a bit kind of like, one, those bikes are really phallic. Two, that's a lot of money for three bikes. Mm. You know? I think... How much are the Outriders? Outriders are 37.50. Yeah, it's, it's comparative. I mean... Bikes have always been a fairly expensive thing. I mean, I remember when the bikes first came out in second edition. It might be mm. third. No, it was second because it was before I started working for the company. They were like a fiver each. So obviously yeah, these well, are the, now... old, the old metal ones. I've still got a tech marine on a metal bike no, somewhere. No, uh, the old, not the metal the old ones. Vincent, the, the, is it the, black the first Vincent? plastic ones. The first plastic ones. Uh, they did. Okay. They did, then they did the plastic um, metal hybrid assault uh, attack bike. Yep. Um, and then they finally changed that to plastic eventually. So these are coming in at 13 quid each. It's not too bad. I'd like to see them closer to 35. Don't get me wrong. Because how much are the Dawn Eagle jet bikes? That's what I would compare them to. Because I fucking love those models so much. I know I've said this before. They're £37.50 for free. Yep. I'd like to see them there rather than 40 quid. But they're nice models. I do want to get some at point, some point, actually. 
Um, the Duke, so the Duke my, bikes. My, my Ultramarines can have Dick bikes as well, yeah. Or maybe <laughs> probably all of Raven Guard, which I probably end up um, end up doing. Yeah, they're nice models. Um, they're they're definitely on the list to get. I'm just going to look at the sprue now. It's um, it's quite it's got yeah. quite a few sprues because it's one sprue just to make the bike, and then uh, the three riders. The, the free rider. Yeah, it is, but there's only one bike on that sprue. That's true, actually. So it's so going to be four be, sprues. So it's four sprues. Four sprues, 40 quid. Yeah, I, fair honestly, enough. Mate, I don't think that's actually, too bad. I don't think no. that's too bad for me. I mean, the downside that's me, is... That's that, me saying that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, to be fair, the, the downside is if you're fielding a Skyhunter squadron, it's three bikes minimum, 10 max. So <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 So you can't get to the 10 anyway, and three is going to get deleted pretty dang quick. So it is yeah. one of those... I see what you're saying. It is one of those more um, expensive units, for right, sure. Yeah. It gives you a bit um, of a Forest Whitaker eye. Yeah, but um, I don't think it's we love too the bad for four sprues, and they are nice models. I generally think a lot of the Horus Heresy stuff is fairly reasonably it's, priced. Yeah, it's not too bad like, at all. Some of the Terminators are, 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 are getting a little bit sort of... Yeah. I think the Tartarus um, Terminator squad is there. That's 55 quid for 10 Terminators. But then when you look at they want 40 quid five terminators for the primaris all right these are smaller admittedly yeah. um oh well, they're not technically not, primaris not, terminators are they they're just, terminators. Money. they're just a bit bigger i don't know if they've said that primaris are in them or not i don't know if they've said honestly i don't know i think they've avoided the subject yeah i think they have i think they have avoided the subject um, which tells so they me that primaris, they're not they could be nah. yeah, probably not um yeah i uh, as I say, we're going to do a video on Primaris. Um, okay, yeah. So, I mean, I, I kind of disagree on the, the Dawn Eagle jet bikes. I, I agree from the basis that it's an expensive unit because, yeah, free ain't going to do you nothing. You need more. Um, yep. But I think for four sprues, 40 quid, I, I think there's a lot worse out there that, <laughs> that I'm going to get onto. Don't you worry about that. So, um, yeah, any other egregious ones that you, you thought about? Uh, not off the top of my head, to be fair. Okay. Uh, oh. I'll have a bit of Tag a me in. Tag me in, bro. Go for it. Although right. uh, I will say, opposite to that, uh, is Necromunda gangs are fairly well priced because once you get a gang, you're pretty much set if you know the rules. Yes, and we we can talk about this actually before I get before I get my teeth in um, yep. into the in, into right. the rip-offs. Necromunda fair. obviously last year it went up by twenty percent. All of Necromunda, all of the Blood Bowl stuff went up from like twenty four pound, twenty five pound for a gang to thirty one pound. So there mm. is that to bear in mind. It's had a, a hefty increase. But as you correctly say, once you've got that squad, okay, they've got extra stuff you can buy and you can get the cards and stuff. So they've, they've got the Wargaming DLC and you need a separate book just for that gang now and all that kind of crap. But yes, it's obviously a cheaper bike because it's, it's a skirmish game. And those are nice models. And you get, what, 12 in there? 10, 12 maybe? 10. 10 Van so I think it is. For me, at least. Yeah, 10, 10 for 30 quid pretty damn yep. good so yeah although you've got the dlc and you have got all the extra stuff and for some reason they've put vehicles and flyers and stuff into necromander i don't want any of that but yeah you know they're not they're not too awful as, as far as that goes um the first one i want to get stuck into is the one that personally aggrieved me the most <laughs> and that is flayed ones <laughs> okay. yeah i remember you saying um, flayed ones are thirty-two pound fifty for five. Five. And that is one fucking sprue. <laughs> one In it. sprue for thirty-two pound fifty. <laughs> now, why they couldn't make that ten for thirty-seven pound fifty yep. is just pure fucking greed. I'd be very surprised if people are buying them. And that's why when Imperium came out, they got scalped through the floor because people were paying eight quid. You know, an absolute piss take. They're spindly models. They're actually a bit of a cunt to build. I love the design, though, with the bits of Um, flesh hanging off. There's like a hand hanging off one of them. Yeah, they look good-ish. They're all hunched over, so they're not very big. They're not very impressive. I mean, £32.50 is just point blank a piss take. Yep. An absolute piss take. There should be 25 quid for five, or I'd give you 40 quid for 10. £37.50 for 10. Like the skeletons and the zombies, for example, for Asia Sigma. Although, to be honest, yep. I think they might even be 20. We'll have a look in a minute. They might even be 20. Um, so the flayed ones, they are my number one shit kicker. I got bought 10 for Christmas, and I was like, 
I can't believe he spent 75. Obviously, it wasn't the gun for this caliber, but like said, that's just ridiculous. Yeah. So 70 quid or 65 quid for 10 flayed ones is a fucking joke. An absolute joke. And shame on you, GW, for that bullshit. I take it you that think they're too expensive sucks. then. A little bit. <laughs> Next up on my shit list. Is it the opposite? The opposite unit? What would the opposite Avengers? unit be? Dire it is the Die Avengers. Can you see my screen? <laughs> no, but I do remember when they got re-released and suddenly it was a box of 10 went down to a box of 5 for not a, too much of a different price. And everyone was like, exactly what the actual what fuck? fucking happened. Exactly what happened. So I think it used to be about 24 quid for 10. I think. Yep. These are fairly old models. They've been around for a little while now. And yeah, GW just in an astonishing example of being cunts and taking the piss <laughs> basically <laughs> half half the price so half the amount of models in the unit and <laughs> put the price down by about 10 percent. so i think they went down to maybe like 20 quid for five or 18 quid for five or something. yep it's like the actual fuck it was not great that is just a dick move fuck you they haven't changed it's not a new sculpt it's not new units or anything like that you've literally just half the amount of models in the box and not reduced the price of the unit but the, the models by a, a commercial amount yep so dire avengers are my second fuck you because dire avengers are a a troop unit so you generally need quite a few of them because obviously blade storm and all that kind of stuff yep so again a unit of five like the flayed ones it does nothing for you Yep. Absolutely nothing for you. And they're older sculpts, and yeah, no, they're they're fucking awful. Number three is a recent one. And it is hmm, not on the store. What the hell? <laughs> oh there they are. They're temporarily out of stock. Probably because they used them all. They used them all in the recent um Dawn Fang uh, not no, sorry, Dawnbreakers box. And it is okay. the Felbats. Oh so, the, from, the, Felbats. From the Curse the Curse City expansion. Yes, yeah. So I got these because basically it was they, it was the new vampire lady with the snake, yep. some fell bats and ten dire wolves, all together for like sixty quid. Got them or sixty five quid. Got them from a discounter. Paid fifty odd quid for them. Sold the vampire lady off for like twenty odd quid. So I got I got my per city stuff cheaper. Um, but these these fell bats are once again one sprue. Now it shows two sprues on the thing. Yeah. It's just one sprue that's split in half. Yep. Those are not that big. They're chunky models, but they're not that big. They're also not at... that. They're not that detailed. They're, they're, no, they're, I'm looking they're at mine quite... as well, and they're quite fragile. They are bastards. Very fragile. Bastards if they snap off whatever. Yeah, you're got. bollocks, mate. Yeah, the, the yeah. when I was putting them together, I was just like, ooh. Yep. Um So yeah, for me, again, thirty-five quid. That's a fucking piss take. I think. <laughs> Because they're so simple, it's one sprue. You should not be charging thirty-five quid for one sprue. You just shouldn't. Point blank. Point blank. You should not be charging thirty-five quid for one sprue. I just, yeah. I, I just do not think that's on. I'm right. assuming that in, in AOS they don't crop up in that many battle scrolls or something, so they don't expect to 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 sell, to sell that many. I don't know. I mean, you wouldn't think they'd be very very high in points costs. No, I mean I've actually got like a a, a, a Grave Lords army book, but it's it's in the toilet and I can't bother to go and get it to literally check. in the toilet sounds a bit soggy not in the toilet um, this next but, to the um, toilet because it was yeah. much 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 better reading than the, than the Farsight Omen book which was crap I'm going oh, to point. Right, okay. yeah the, uh, the 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 fell bats I mean it's one sprue I, I don't know I was putting together and I was like man I am so glad I didn't pay for a box of these because I would be super pissed off yep um, number four is the Beast of Nurkle. <laughs> oh, yes. The old school ones. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember. So, yeah. the Beast of Nurgle plastic kit. They got redone looking really goofy, and then they were also shockingly expensive on top of that. Oh, yes. They are now £32.50 each. Each. Yeah, each. <laughs> and I'm sorry, <laughs> but one Beast of Nurgle is going to do precisely nothing for you. Precisely yep. nothing. Such at least, a piss take. 
at least the Neshi Fiends are like 35 quid for three and they look yeah, awesome. Exactly, exactly. Um, £32.50. And I think when they first came out, they were about 18, 20 quid. So there's one of those things that I noticed really jumped up. It's like Mortarian. When Mortarian came out, he was 65 quid. Not anymore. He's 95 now. <laughs> so he's gone up by 50%. Yeah. And he went off like in consecutive price rise and you just saw him look all the way up because suddenly GW realized they could t- charge a lot of money for big models, yep. which is why nearly every army has a big model now. So yeah, Beast of Nurgle, £32.50. What the fuck? Not that the tower should have one. Don't get me started on that. Well, I mean, yeah, every, every army is just, it's, it's going to have one because they, they, they know that they can charge a hundred odd quid for a model that's big and detailed enough. And as I've already said, because the plastic eventually essentially costs so little if it's something you can shift a lot of like the great demons for example um and they, they jumped up a lot as well you know, they, yep. they came out at quite a cheaper much, well a cheaper price uh, i think when the blood first that came out he was like 70 odd quid and now i'm sure he's probably 100 or so uh Archeon to the other one i think he came out at 90 quid he's hmm. now 125 yeah, Demons of Corn Blood first and ninety five pounds. Well, to be fair, the, the, when those Great Demons came out, they were nice. I mean, they oh, still yeah, they, are now. Like, they are nice uh, models, yeah. but they were a lot nicer at sixty five pounds than they are ninety five pounds. <laughs> it's just I can have one and a half demons for the same yeah. price that I now get one demon. So it's just you know, you know, it's, it is what it is. Um, you know, we, we've discussed the pricing and why some of that happens. Um, but yeah, those are. Um, so I've, I've done four. I said I had one more. I'm not. I'm not even including the combat patrol for Space Marine and Tyrion just because they're piss takers. It is. <laughs> um, my last one is actually a model, and it is a lady. Oh. And it is Lord Castellan Ursula Creed. Oh jeez. She is even a, be a small thing? human-sized model. So she's like no bigger than a Jeans to the Cult model, for example. It's 19 quid. But because she's a special character, she's £27.50. Fuck right off. Yeah, that's a no thanks. No thank you. That, that, that's some bullshit. That is some bullshit. For a, a human-sized model, wearing a great coat and everything, admittedly, that is, that is some bullshit. £27.50. It's more expensive than the Space Marine. You know what I mean? It's just, yeah. Yep. There's no need for that, GW. That That is my fifth. And... If we were to look through <clears throat> different ranges, I'm sure we could think of a lot more. And we will be doing some range reviews in the future. So I'm sure we will come up with some stuff that which like you know, the old Forest Whitaker eye, as you say, comes out. And you're like, oh. Isn't it? The thing is, like, look, I, I, I compare it to, so, f- we'll, we'll, you know, f- f- for example, a, a good deal, for example, would be something like an Underworlds, Underworlds Warband. Warband, yeah. Now, they've gone up a lot in price, don't get me wrong. So these, when they first came out, were like literally 15, 16 quid. Yeah. Every year they've had a consecutive increase. And they've gone up so pretty much actually, like the core game itself, I think. Just like the core game itself, which started out like 40 quid and is now 60, 55, 60 quid, I think, for the start of each season. Yeah. How much did, how much did um, Weird Hollow cost you? Was it Weird Hollow? I can't, I can't even uh, keep up to date with them. But I can't I remember can't, I can't even keep up to date with them because they just update so quickly. But yeah, you get twenty six pound, so you get four or five uh, nice-ish models. You, you say maybe the equivalent of a um, a, a a character piece each. Yep. You know, there tends to be sort of three or four parts each. Twenty six pound for four or five models, so you know, a small squad and some cards. And obviously, we know that card stock is not particularly cheap, and has to come oh. from China all that kind of bollocks. Oh, Death yep. Gorge, that was the new one, wasn't it? Yes. Um, and uh, yeah, some of these are really good. Like for example, I got the Witch Hunters one. 26 quid i think it was 24 at the time and you get five or four witch hunters and two doggies in it and they're all really nice models so yeah. you know i i consider those to be something that is um reasonable value i don't know how you can sell that for 26 pound and then sell five flayed ones for 35 or 50 <laughs> I, just, I, just, I just i just don't fucking get it <laughs> I just, you know um so yeah, I can't think of too many others that are that egregious. Um, I think some some of the tanks are getting a little bit, a little bit up there, but you know, they're tanks and they tend to be quite large. Yeah. I think the knights aren't too bad. They probably don't need to be as much as they are, obviously, because again, they probably sold themselves off a while ago. But they're not the worst. 
So yeah, I don't think I can think of. Yeah, you know, there will be more, but they're the ones that you know immediately. If somebody says to me, you know, there's no GW kits that are a ripoff, I would turn around with those five and say, yes, they fucking are. <laughs> yeah, quite <laughs> you know, easily those, as well. Quite easily, yeah. Those ones take the piss, and um, yeah, there, there are some examples that, that do take the piss, and some examples that have gone up loads. I mean, um, what's the Death Watch flyer called? Blackstar, Blackstar, uh, isn't it? Corvus Blackstar, yeah. Not an alien dropship yeah. at all. Um, no, not at all. Forty-five. Uh, sorry, fifty-five quid. Oof. I'm sure that was thirty when it came out. Yeah, I'm sure that was a lot cheaper as well. I think the other one that's really bad because nobody ever liked the model in the first place is the Storm Raven. Yes. Yeah. How much do you think a Storm Raven is? I don't want to know. I've I've never bought one. I never need one. <laughs> Actually, uh, I don't know. 70, what, Seventy quid. Seventy yeah. quid. <laughs> Fuck. It's not even all that big. Oh, 70 quid. Or handsome. No one's buying. No one's buying that, surely. I hope not. No matter how big they make, how good they make it in the game. Little flying fucking brick. Not one of your finest, not one of your finest works there, Jez, I'm afraid. No. Um, but yeah, 70 quid. That's another one that I would quite happily say is a piss take. Yeah. You know, oh, you know that, that's just, that's just ridiculous. But yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, they're the ones that, come to mind and, and they do bundle deals and you can get the two army boxes if you can get them for example like this weekend if i manage to shift a few more bits i might try and get the solar auxilia box but i'm not fancying my chances there's a nice box and for one thing gw seem to be screwing over their um third party suppliers with numbers yeah because they know just... that everything they know that everything just sells out on the website so like well we don't need to get rid of any of this cheaper than we have to yeah that's came for themselves making sure their own bases are covered before anyone else's, yeah. which is kind um, of fair enough, but it doesn't really help us. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't really help us as much. So yeah, I, I might I might have a go at trying to get older one because sometimes I get lucky and um, the old pay, pay, pay and free comes in handy with that. It's like, yes, <laughs> worry about this now, I'll pay you later. Yep. And that's, that's, that's how I paid for the um, Slamfest and Alice Cooper tickets. <laughs> it's like, yes. yeah. Okay. I still can't believe Alice Cooper tickets were so reasonably priced. I know, like, 60 ACDC, quid, 60 quid, mate, yeah. And ACDC won 130 quid. And I Pearl hate Jam this anyway. 160, 160. I'm like... The, the, the Pearl Jam one is quite surprising to me because this, historically they've been a band that's always had fairly decently priced tickets for their live shows. Well, Eddie so, Vedder was always quite quite sort of stringent about that kind of thing. Yeah. I've seen Pearl Jam. I think it was a festival. I think it was Grass Pop. But, um, yeah, I saw Grass Pop as well. Yeah, it must be the same one. Um... Yeah, he's always been sort of fairly outspoken on such things, so I was a bit surprised. Yeah, I wonder if it's, uh, if it's a venue thing. I mean, it's not that's exactly nothing a small compared venue to playing, is it? It would be an arena tour, but I mean, like, you know, as Cooper's got an arena tour, and his tickets are only 60 quid, so... Yeah. Um, that's why he's a bit of a legend. But then you look at the prices of things like pop tickets. <laughs> and they're mental. Yep. 200 quid to go see Madonna. No. No, thanks. No. Not anymore. You know, I, I, fucking, <laughs> <laughs> just, just just that really <laughs> so um yeah so that, that's, that's been pricing taken on um you guys listening if you are still listening haven't given up with us fucking ages ago um you know feel free to, to drop some comments and see what you think um we're not saying that gw is not expensive it is expensive um it is an expensive hobby there's no two ways about it but a there are more expensive hobbies out there b i think for the most part you do get what you pay for it's just mm-hmm. you tend to need a lot of it to play the games yep. um and gw've engineered it that way absolutely for maximum profit don't get me wrong i'm not saying they haven't um you know cheap alternatives are out there that are not as good and um, in the future, we will tackle the thorny subject of 3D printing. Because we've both done some at the end of the day. And um, yeah. I've, got my, I've got my thoughts on that with regards to, you know, that versus GW and pricing and everything. So, yeah, was there anything extra you wanted to mention regarding pricing? Anything you think we've forgotten about? Anything I have forgotten about that I asked you to write down that I can't remember? No, I think we've spoken quite enough. We're super prepared, super prepared and professional here. You can, <laughs> you can tell from our dramatic intro music. <laughs> it still makes me laugh. I was so glad I found it. I was just I was just looking for stuff. I just wanted to I was wanting some kind of like almost like film score like. That's what I wanted. 
And I just found this, and it was like, because it's quite hard to find some stuff because you're, you're wading through like there's rabbit holes and you're wading through stuff and loads, loads of free stuff, royalty free, yeah. Yeah, and it's like you've got to find out, make sure it's got the correct um, license on it and stuff like that. So, for example, with this one we use from Columna, um, it gives me a copyright notification every time I load it to YouTube, but <clears throat> it says allow us to use on YouTube. So presumably if we ever get to the stage where this channel does get monetized, that wouldn't interfere. <laughs> what, you mean we don't get any money for this? Uh, we do not. We do not, I'm afraid. <laughs> it's an outrage. Um, I'll get you a pint the next time we go to Bugman's. But, um, okay, done. Yeah, no, it's, 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 I think, is it a thousand? thousand subscribers you need, I think. So we're, we're way off. I but, yeah, have no it's, idea. It's, my perspective you know I, I i put some effort into what i what we do in every sort of editing and everything <laughs> but um you know it's 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 just at the end of the day, we, we would be having this chat anyway i just decided to start sticking Recording up let's see if people see if people liked it we're not doing the sensationalism up, route so, on youtube speak, and eventually speaking of sensationalism and, and eventually where? eventually on spotify as well once i work out how to do that that'd be cool i mean i've got my band people. stuff on spotify so i'm sure we can work it out yeah, I'm sure it's not too difficult. Um, obviously, it's just it's going to be audio, and then um, as I say, still going no, forward, still if, no faces. Yeah, no, still no faces, and um, <laughs> people people don't need to see that. And uh, if we get to the stage where you know we, we do get popular and we do take off, then you know I might look at um, sort of t-shirts and stuff like that because be, you know, I get kind of a second home. Like, yeah, well, I'd get like a I'd get an ego boost out of thinking that somebody was walking around with a grumpy cock and I'd gain this t-shirt. I already know what I want to do. I want to do the logo, and then on the back, I want written grognard and proud. <laughs> um, well, we have so, personalised t-shirts. Oh, you and me will blatantly, blatantly <laughs> have personalised t-shirts. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I, yeah, for, for the for the masses, I want that. And obviously, we you know, might go down the route of a Patreon. I mean, uh, with, uh, later. Later. With with Patreon, I always want to make sure that we can actually offer something. So it'd be like the yeah. um, you know, sort of a Discord and maybe a, a um, candid Polaroids. Yeah, not so much. Um, of our yeah. miniatures, of our miniatures, of course. Yeah. Um, I mean, you yeah, wanted sort of... you wanted to sort out a painting service, so there you go. Well, there you go then. Yeah. Don't know um, what I was talking about. But, um, the the other thing I could do is um, give people access to like the unedited. Uh, the unedited audio files for the videos. I'm not the sure. So, uh, the so erm um, cut. Uh, <laughs> don't worry, I'll cut. I'll cut out anything that sort of um, or might get you in trouble with the wife. But uh, Good Lord. yeah, just just <laughs> Wait, something, what? just something, just something. I thought we might be able to offer because I, I don't want to be one of these people who does a patron who doesn't do anything. Um, on also, it, yeah. I, I, I certainly don't want to be one of these people who has like a, a patron that's got like thirty quid. I think it was one of Louise's patron levels is like forty quid a month or something. Wow. And I'm like, does she come around and paint your models for you? <laughs> Jesus. Or well, 30 quid a month or something. It was a lot of money. I was like, Jesus. I'm like, there's me thinking it'd be like, I don't know, a fiver. Like, say, maybe eight quid, absolute tops. That's what I was going to say. You, you, you know, I don't know what you could put up for, what would be worth it for eight quid. You know, fucking personalised YouTube videos or something. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, in, in the future, um, a t shirt and a, a couple of small levels of Patreon just so. Yeah, you know, get, getting something out of it, I suppose. But as I say, yep. at the end of the day, mate, I I enjoy chatting to you about this bollocks anyway. So um, <laughs> it's win it's win win, isn't it? Really, isn't it? Thanks, and, uh, Yeah, <laughs> fingers crossed we can get up here soon. Yeah. So uh, as always, thank you very much for listening. Anybody who is listening, leave cool. comments. Let us know what you think. Um, also, give us a share if you think that there's other like-minded grumpy bastards out there that might like <laughs> to listen to us. Because there's a lot of groups out there that won't let me put the YouTube videos in, which is called yeah. spam, um, which is fair enough. You don't want to. I mean, um, my personal group is too small for me to worry about any of that shit. But I can imagine yeah. if you've got like twenty thousand people in your group, you don't want to ever be spamming stuff all the time and and things like that. So uh, sharing things on channels adds on top of that the fact that I'm a bit shit at social media because I don't like people very much. <laughs> Our growth will be. Uh, uh, limited and, and smallish so yeah thank you very much for listening guys and we will catch you soon on the next video Thanks. bye